so welcome back. Um, this is part two of the Corsair build. Um, as you know, I've put all like the engine and the wires and that in for the lights and the engine and the switches. So hopefully, I'll get this done in this part two. But if not, there'll be a part three. But it's just about the wings and the painting and the decals now. So the next part to do is. So starting on the wings and the, the flaps and the ailerons and stuff so I shall start that um, so a lot of metal parts coming up so I'll be putting them in but yeah it's not too much but it, there is and there isn't so cut brass wire to certain sizes and stuff like that so there's a lot to do but so yeah I shall make a start uh, on this part here Right, so apart from the messy desk, um, this is where I've got to so far. Spread it all up. It's a lovely colour, I must admit. I really do like that. Um, I can't touch it just yet because it's. I've put some matte varnish on it that is drying. So once that's dried, I shall go ahead and do some panel liner. Um, I don't. I keep spreading that over the whole plane whenever I do it, and this time I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it in between the actual panels 
like carefully instead of covering the whole plane so it all looks black and I'll give the panels some black like undercoat first not the whole bit well you saw what I did anyway so um, I've decided to spray this I've got still a little bit of blue here and there that I've got to touch up but that'd be alright just a little little bits here and there like on the front of there I'll go over them again with the airbrush it is actually is it dry yeah it's dry and a little bit there I've got to do a miss but the rest of it's fine the wheels are going to be white um, and then I've got the rubber bits to put on the over outside of it that's all going to be done white and then the transfers are going and that's about it and then it will be done so I'll wait for it to dry properly I might just go over these blue bits again quickly just so they're done and then varnish it again just these bits oh yeah and I've done the drop tanks as well but they're drying as well and they've got to be glued on to the bottom so yeah it's getting there it's getting there Yeah, let's start her up, shall we? There she goes. Right, well, finally, she is done. This was a hard model to build. There we go, so the guns are in there. I'll do that on both sides, both sides come off. Like that. Very fiddly model though, that's the only problem with it. There you go. So that comes off as well. Only other thing is you can shut the old cockpit. There's the switch in there for the engine. Try and start it one more time. It's quite fiddly to start it to be honest with you. Should be added though. So yeah, it is a good model, um, it is a nice model, um, it's very well made in a lot of detail, there's just a lot of things that you've got to do to make things fit, like the little metal parts are extremely hard, like the bits that go on the flaps and that to hold them on, they're, they're so hard to put on, um, the propeller as well, like on the inside of the propeller, of the propeller, 
you've got the shaft that comes in but this bit's completely empty so there's nowhere for the shaft to sit in to hold it on there so I've had to fill it I put a load of filler in there push the propeller on and leave it like that so but yeah it is a nice model this is like I said at the beginning on part one this is for a group build so I'll... there are some lovely models on there though so I can't see me winning that but yeah so yeah thanks for watching this one guys that is the end of this one and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.